morning and welcome to day 130 northbound on the Appalachian Trail. It was a great night last night, slept really, really well at the uh, Wilcox North Shelter. I did tent there. <clears throat> the only thing, um, the water source there was not good. It was uh, some stagnant water. So, eh, I didn't really want to get water from there, but I knew that from the far out uh, comments. So I had gotten water at the water source before that. Um, <clears throat> so on far out, it did say that there were two water sources, a mile and a mile and a half from the camp. So what I did is I just used whatever water I had this morning for breakfast and to drink. <clears throat> and now I'm at this creek and I'm filtering water right now. I don't know if you could see, but I'm filtering water with my Sawyer, my Sawyer squeeze into my bottle <clears throat> from this creek. Now, the water source, um, 0.1 from here, or 0.5, I forget what it is, but um, in the comments, I mean, in the description, it said that there's a beaver bog upstream. Uh, and you really don't want to filter water, even though you're getting water from, even though you're filtering it, it's just something about those beavers that poop that can give you giardia, even though the filters are supposed to filter it. I don't trust it. So whenever I read that there's a beaver bog close by or there's a beaver bog upstream, I tend not to get water from that source. Um, I had giardia once from uh, the Canadian Rockies and um, my PCP, Tom, told me, eh, it's probably from the beaver poop. And he's probably right because there was no other animals around. So, I mean, there was no cattle or anything like that. So I thought I would just get water from this creek instead. It looks very clear, it looks very clean, it is running. So um, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, today is Monday and we are planning to go 14 miles to the Upper Goose Shelter in Massachusetts. And that shelter apparently is a closed shelter. So it has doors and whatnot. Um, there's also tenting there, and apparently there's a caretaker there, so um, apparently it's a very popular place. Um, anyway, that's where we're heading, 14 miles is a good good amount for us, and um, yeah, we'll check it out. Apparently there's a pond right there, so that should be really fun, and you can go swimming in it, which I'm sure Micah will enjoy, and who knows, I might even take a dip too. So. Hope you're all having a good Monday, enjoying getting water from your sink or wherever else you get it from, as I filter my water from the stream. <laughs> Have a great Monday. I'll check in again later. The other thing hikers do when you get to a water source in the morning is you camel up. And that just means you drink a whole liter. And I just guzzled a whole liter of water before I started. So that just hydrates your body before you start. And it's a very good practice. Um, so that's what I just did. <laughs> so we're hiking along. And look at the size of this feather I found. If anybody knows what it's from, a hawk, an owl, I don't know. If anybody knows, drop, the, drop it in the comments, but what a beautiful feather. It's huge. I'm on the summit of Tingring, Tingingham. I really don't know how to say it. Cobble. Uh, beautiful outlook here. Um, wildflowers, yarrow, Queen Anne's lace all around and a nice crab apple tree with lots of crab apples on it and a bench and if it wasn't scorching hot <laughs> we'd probably sit for a few minutes but probably not right now later in the day though this would be a nice spot it would be nice and shaded so Micah found some shade but we're gonna mosey on I just passed some people who were 
looked very official and I asked what they were doing and they said they were uh, making records of invasive species of plants in the area. And so we chatted for a little bit and uh, they asked me where I was headed tonight and I told them Goose Pond Shelter and they said, oh, don't miss it. Great swimming there. And uh, the woman told me that she had just tested the water uh, in the pond and she said it's perfect. So that's good to know. So I think we might do a little swimming. Micah definitely will and hopefully I will too. So oh, these are going to be pretty when they're in bloom. All right. Hope you're all having a good Monday. This is actually the summit of Kabul Mountain where I was before was just an overlook. And there's a bench here too, <laughs> which is very nice. Looks like there's a cemetery down there. And to the left of it looks like a big white church. Let me see. Come over here. Yeah, there's a church down there. You can kind of see the top of it. Anyway, beautiful. So far, Massachusetts get a gold star on signage and markings. Everything's been marked really well, and the signage is amazing. So I haven't had to take far out app out at all. So that always makes me happy where I know where I'm going. about this trail stand in Massachusetts. It's right off the AT, and you just walk down this road, and there's Rapunzel. She's already there, and apparently they have snacks and cold drinks and I think you just help yourself so incredible trail magic here so far Massachusetts has been wild in terms of um, trail magic three times yesterday and now this today it's awesome hello Miss Rapunzel hello. Yeah, so this is the trail stand and you do pay you just it's an honor system and he's got free Wi-Fi, and in the fridge there's um, chips and candy and Powerade and Gatorade and eggs if you want, cookies, there's Oreos, there's a banana there. So there's all sorts of stuff here, which is super nice. So thank you. Thank you, whoever does this. I love these boardwalks over marshes. Really cool here in Massachusetts. And up there is where we're headed. We got a good climb ahead of us. And uh, we've got about uh, eight miles or so to the shelter. And where that trail stand was, I just sat at that picnic bench with Rapunzel and ate my lunch. It was noon, I thought, ah, got a picnic bench. Why not just spread out and eat then? So. A little early lunch for me, but it was good. I'm glad I did it. And now we're gonna push to the shelter. All right. Oh, all these little obstacles here, which are good obstacles because they get us over the marshy part of the trail. And here we are. We just came down a really big mountain and trail magic again. Wow. Unbelievable here in Massachusetts. Incredible. People are so generous. Lovely. We're about a mile from the shelter and we've got Upper Goose Pond on our left and uh, it's going to be great swimming when we get there. I can't wait. <sighs> anyway, the trail goes this way right through here and uh, we're going to be going up a little bit and then back down to the pond. Yippee. Okay, so this is Upper Goose, Gaunt, Upper Goose Pond Cabin and um, pancakes in the morning. There is bunks on in the upper level, which is where we are. Uh, bear boxes there where we have to keep all our food so that we don't keep it, um, so we don't put it in our rooms because of critters. Um, it was 0.5 from the AT to get here. There's canoes if you want, but we are going to go swimming. I'm gonna take Micah for a little swim. So up those stairs are where the, um, the, 
bunks are and then you can cook anywhere around here which we will do after we go swimming but I am so looking forward to getting wet <laughs> um, so we're gonna go down to the beach you ready Micah this boy this dog is gonna be so happy <sighs> all right news here if you want and there is the pond and I can't wait to jump in. I'm going to go in with my clothes on so they get all cleaned. <laughs> I only think I'm taking off from my socks. Where's the stick, Micah? Oh no, oh, no. it's over there. Where's the stick? Uh oh. Right here, Micah. Micah, it's over here. Micah, there's the stick right there. Right there, over there. Go get the stick right there. Right there. Right there. You got it. Woohoo. Yay. <laughs> Good job. It's a beautiful evening here on the lake. So nice. Just had dinner over by the cabin. Lots of people are here. I would say the bubble is happening. And um, yeah, a lot of hikers. I'm glad I got here when I did because I was able to get a bunk. Um, but we're just gonna chill out here for the lake, for, by the lake for a little bit. I'm gonna write in my log and then um, probably get horizontal. But it really is a beautiful evening. Mike has had a good swim. Me too, I feel clean, and I hope you're all having a great Monday. There's a little island right there, right there. <laughs>